Four trolleys, out during the day, but gone at night. Where did they go? I'm Ranger Mariah, and you can find out the answers to this question and many others on this episode of Behind the Park. Lowell's first electric streetcar began operation in 1889. Over the next decade, additional electric cars extended throughout the downtown area. Here at the Boot Mill Trolley Barn, historically known as the Coal Pocket, you'll no longer find coal, but you will find today's special guest. Hello, welcome to Lowell National Park. This is Tommy Tucker, the motorman. Hi Tommy, what have you got to show us? Behind me is 966 a streetcar from New Orleans, and it's here on loan from Seashore Trolley Museum in Kennebunkport, Maine. So we'll take a walk through the barn and show you what we have here. Have you ever wondered what's under a trolley but didn't want to risk life and limb to check? We got you covered. You're standing under one of the, of the streetcars. This one is 966 from Seashore Trolley Museum. It has different chains up above here. Um, an air tank, this is a brake cylinder down under here. All of these parts work. Um, this was, car was made in 1924 and it had the same parts on it and most of the parts are the original parts. So it was built in New Orleans in 1924. Ran in, in, down in New Orleans. Different parts, these are resistor banks. They cut the amount of power that goes to each motor when you first start increasing, burning up the extra power through the banks, just like a big toaster. You push it down and they light up. Same idea. And uh, we have the axle. This is a truck. This has only one motor in it and two axles. The motor is apart right back under here. And we service them on a daily basis when they're used so that you can have a working car all the time. What else is back here? Well, let's follow Tommy to find out. This is trolley 4131. It's the, what we call winter car. 4130 did run here in the city of Lowell, so the next car produced off the same plans was 4131. With combination car, windows will open and close on it, and it's good for all year round. Um, it has heat inside too for colder days. Maybe not on a day when it's 90, but um, we can walk back looking down through the trolley. And the trolleys have, these cars all have four motors to them. There's two trucks, two motors in each car. The car will go, we go about six, seven miles an hour. The trolleys are filled with engineering and technological marvels. But what does all this equipment do? Tell us Santa, I mean Tommy. This is an emergency brake. Um, you turn it and it will stop the car. It has a dog down underneath here that you push against it and it holds it locked. It takes you about 10 times around with the, with the brake in order to stop the car if you're moving right along. The next cylinder here is an air brake. And uh, all the children love this button because that's the whistle and we come over, the gauge here is not a speedometer. The gauge tells me how much air is in the tank. There's a second needle that's right behind it, a red needle, and that tells you how much brake you're putting on or holding. Sometimes you can hold the brake a little tiny bit. That stops the wheels from spinning if you're on slippery track or anything. Next little section right here is what we call, that's the forward and reverser goes in here, the key and you push it forward to go forward and you pull it backwards to go backwards. Trolleys can back up. The only trouble with the trolley backing up is the back pole, when you go backwards, tends to go up into the air and then it bends in the middle and then maintenance has to come and change the pole and they're not too happy. The next lever here is a controller for speed and it takes um, five notches 
it'll the first notch dissipates three sections of power into the um, underneath the car and gives only one section to all four motors and then you can go up into series and parallel the car will go along about 15 20 miles an hour our problem is not how fast we can go our problem is where we can stop we don't have enough room to stop anywhere so if you give me one second we'll give you something else you guys haven't seen inside here are fingers right here and when you pull the lever the fingers open and close power circuits connected to the wires each one this is to protect it from flashing at you when you disconnect 600 volts there's an arc and that's a big flash and this protects you this absorbs the arc and that's why it's all black inside too but and this is all part of the controller system Interested in meeting Tommy and the rest of the trolley crew? Our trolleys run seasonally from March to November, so come on down for a free ride today. For additional information on Lowell National Historical Park, visit our website at www.nps.gov forward slash L-O-W-E or give us a call at 978-970-5000. We'll make sure you get on the right track. I'm Ranger Mariah, and please keep all hands, arms, tongues, legs, feet, and toes inside the trolley at all times. <laughs>